All right, here's the little uh, steam engine uh, making uh, regular electricity uh, with a uh, rotating magnet and a coil of wire. And uh, this is uh, my little friend Maggie there, this uh, coil of wire with a couple of LEDs and a bridge rectifier. And then at the back of uh, the uh, pickup coil are clip leads, and that's the voltage that's uh, basically clamped by the LEDs. And this is a little neodymium ring magnet, uh, diametrically magnetized, that's running in front of that uh, pickup coil. And the little steam engine uh, is making real electricity. That's a steam electric generator plant right there. And you could, you know, if you refined this and you made this a better system, you could uh, make a little generator plant on your own, like I say, without... Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, without a machine shop, you could build one of these in an apartment. Because I did this uh, here in the house on the kitchen table and the kitchen countertop with very simple parts and very simple tools. And I would imagine people in uh, some of these uh, faraway places that don't have a lot could build these things. And you could build these and, and make electricity, make your own electricity. And I'm running this off this uh, canned heat, but you could fire this with wood. You know, this is not rocket science here at all. This is a very, very simple uh, building construction. And uh, I'm making electricity. And that's what's coming out right there. And like I say, the voltage is basically clamped down by the LEDs. As soon as they fire off, they, they hold the uh, voltage at that breakover point. Not a lot of amperage here, um, but uh, if you wanted to make some lighting, simplistic lighting, uh, or charge a battery, you know, there's a way to do it. You could build one of these little simple steam engines, uh, make it better, of course, and then... Uh, make your own electricity by burning something and, and using steam. This is something I hadn't really thought about before that uh, there is a way to uh, make electricity by burning something other than uh, oil or coal. You could use wood of course and uh, or whatever you could, that's probably alcohol in there. Imagine that's alcohol that's burning. It's one of those canned heat things. You get them at the dollar store for a dollar. It runs two hours on that. And what's in the can right there is one cup of water. And I've been seeing how long the one cup of water will last. And it's quite a while. But I'll have to time it. So you don't want to run this dry. You want to make sure there's always water in there so that the tank itself doesn't overheat. But uh, this very simplistic construction um, with a very, very simple generator works. Anyway, that's Maggie and the steam generator. Or actually, Maggie and the steam engine. <laughs> Thanks for watching.